Welcome back to our shop. Today we're going to be um, uh, demonstrating a process for tying a piano string when it's broken. Um, oftentimes it's good to replace it, but uh, there are some circumstances where um, it's it's better or needing to uh, tie the string rather than rather than play, replace it with a new one. Uh, bass strings are the most common. This first part of the video I'm just going to be showing you. We don't have any broken bass strings in, in this piano, but uh, I'm going to show you where it can be broken and where it probably can't be broken for you to be able to tie it. Um, bass, again, bass strings are the more common ones to be able to tie because uh, treble strings are a little bit easier to replace. Um, bass strings, they have to be custom made and so forth to, um, to match the old string. But if a, if a piano string, and oftentimes it's broken right up here at the um, at the base of the tuning pin, okay, where the where the coil starts on the tuning pin, that's a common place for the for the for the string to break. If it breaks down here at the at the um, bearing point, um, and all you've got is this little part uh, to tie onto. It's um, much more difficult and not usually feasible to be able to tie a string with this little bit, and also they, it doesn't generally turn out sounding very good. Uh, you could get buzzing and so forth if you tie it down here below in the speaking length of the of the string. So, but uh, if you you know if you if you've got it to where it breaks here at the base of the tuning pin or where right where the coil starts on the tuning pin, um, you've got a good uh, enough enough wire there to make a tie. So. Um, that's the, first, that's the first thing you want to determine is uh, where the string is broke if you've got enough uh, wire uh, left on the old string to be able to tie a new um, a new uh, lead wire on there. So uh, Now for the rest of the video we're going to be using our jig here to show you a little bit easier to see <coughs> how the tie is actually made um, on our uh, stringing jig here. Now here I've got um, I've got a string as you can see it's been Cut. Now this isn't a bass string, but uh, for demonstration purposes, we're going to use use this to show the tying of the string. Now here I've cut it off, uh, kind of duplicating what a break would be right at the base of the tuning pin, like we talked about, uh, as a good way to be able to um, re uh, tie the string. <clears throat> now what you're going to want to do is remove the old coil. Remove the old coil from the tuning pin, and then uh, you're going to you're going to measure what size the core wire is. If it's a bass string or the wire, if it's a plain string, because you're going to want to match uh, to use a piece of wire that's the same diameter as the wire you're tying to. So uh, I know that's the, and you can we've got another video on how to measure piano wire, but uh, I've measured this and it's a size 12. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my size 12 wire. Here and um, cut a piece. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna make sure I cut a piece plenty long. So I'm just gonna make it extra long. I'm gonna cut off the extra later on um, in the process. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our um, make our loop first. Okay, and the best uh, tool for this so we've got here round nose pliers. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and make a loop in it. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it to the right. Okay, and I'm going to wrap it all the way around so it makes a nice, a nice loop there. If you can see that, a loop. So it kind of wraps around, and I can even take it and tighten it up a little bit there too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pliers and just bend that in the direction of the loop. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do that's I'm going to slip that onto the old string. That's going to wrap or uh, the the loop is going to go right down over the over the old string like this. Okay, and with the with the tail of the string pointed toward the tuning pin. Okay, so we've got that down there. And then, <clears throat> now I uh, curved the 
I made the, the loop on the, the lead wire to the right. So the one on the, the broken piece of wire, I'm going to make that loop to the left. So, I'm going to do the same thing here and make a loop on the loop, the piece of wire that I'm looping again. I'm going to bend that upward toward the tail. Then, the next step is take the other end of the lead wire <coughs> and put that through the hole that I just made in the piece of the broken wire. Okay, and that's going to pull these two pieces of wire together. Now, um, here we're going to, because I made my my lead wire much longer than it needed to be, just to make sure I had plenty, I'm going to measure it from the tuning pin up two and a half inches. Okay, I'm going to hold my wire straight and go up two and a half inches, measure there, and that's where I'm going to cut it off in order to get about the right number of co coils on the on the pin. Okay, then once we've got that. Now, when when you've when you've taken the the coil the the old coil off of the off of the tuning pin, you want to make sure that you raise that tuning pin up one, two, three. I usually do three and a half um, turns out. And the reason for that is because when, as you tur as you turn the tuning pin back in, <clears throat> if you don't have it turned up enough, your coil is going to end up right up against the plate, and uh, you won't be able to um, you won't be able to get it in all the way. So once I've turned it out enough, then to to coil it on, okay, and you put the wire in the lead wire all the way through the hole in the tuning pin, so that it just starts to sneak out there. Okay, so just a just a hair breadth sticking out. And then I'm going to turn it clockwise. I'm going to use my finger as kind of a guide. And then I want to make sure the coil ends up going underneath the becket, which is the, the part that goes through the hole. Okay, and then as I start to get it tight, I want to take my pliers and tighten up that that wire, the becket, going into the hole and make sure my coil is pushed up with my coil lifter and string spacer so that's nice and tight up against so you got a nice tight coil and then I can tighten this and I don't know if you can see I'll get my arm out of the way you can see that that tie there um, is tightening up Okay, and that pushes against itself. Now, what what you can do is um, you could have done this before, but uh, make sure those ends of those uh, loops are um, cut off nice and taut, and then tighten that to pitch where it needs to go, and you've got a tied string. So, fairly simple process if you go go through the right steps and, and get everything in place for it. So if you have any questions, just feel free to visit our website, howardpianoindustries.com.